Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test the speed or the load time of your WordPress website and what you can do to make it go a little bit faster. I'm not going to get into the specifics of all the ways to fix your site speed. That will be left for a more in-depth tutorial. For this video, I'm just going to show you how to get a test done and get test results and then how to go from there. So the first thing you want to do is find a speed test. There's a whole bunch of them online. The one I often use is Google Page Speed Insights. It is at the URL developers.google.com forward slash speed forward slash page speed forward slash insights. Big question is why do I want to use Google's Page Speed Insights Analyzer? Well, speed is now a ranking factor for SEO in Google, as a lot of you know, and we're getting this information from the source. So we can use other testers and they help you improve your site and that's great. But for the Google Paid Speed Tester, they are the people who control your SEO rankings basically and they are telling you exactly what to do to do better in their rankings. Whereas the other testers, they might not give the exact same results. Google is telling you exactly what they want to see. So then you just do exactly what they want and then your rankings improve because SEO is a ranking factor. That's my theory anyway. I don't have any data to back that up. But that's my theory, and their page speed tester works, so I'm going with it, but you can use any other one that you find online. When you do find one, all you have to do is enter your URL and then click on the Analyze button, or hit Enter. The analysis goes pretty fast, and then for the Google tester, you see a mobile and a desktop tab at the top, and it will tell you which to fix on each one. Now the mobile for the stock of beta theme is 53 out of 100, which is not that great. But what it does, it shows you the things that are critical in red, the things that are warnings in yellow, and the things that you did well in green. And for example, the first one, eliminate rendering blocking JavaScript and CSS in above the fold content. You might be scratching your head asking, what does that mean? Well, Google has a handy dandy link right here that you can click, and then it shows you exactly what the problem is. Nine blocking strip scripts, nine blocking CSS resources. It tells you what they are. It gives you a link to where you can find out how to remove the render blocking JavaScript, a link to where you can find out how to optimize CSS delivery. And you can go into each one and click on the show how to fix link. And they give you a lot of detailed information on how to fix these things because they genuinely want to help you fix these. And you should generally want to fix them because it improves your site speed, it improves user experience, and it can improve your SEO rankings. And if you click on the desktop tab, it shows the exact same format, what you should fix, what's critical, what's a warning, and what you did well. And then you just go through each one and click the show to fix button, and then you, you go out and you fix them. Like I said earlier, we have a bunch of tutorials on how to fix these things specifically. And this video was just showing you how to analyze your website and get some data from that and then possibly go out and fix these on your own because when you fix them on your own, you end up learning a whole lot of stuff about your website and about websites in general. So I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped. Check out our social media feed, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out WP Learning Lab where you write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.